Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can exercise to increase your growth hormone levels. So first, a quick review of what growth hormone is. Uh, it's a hormone that stimulates release of another hormone called insulin-like growth factors that are released throughout the body. So your anterior pituitary gland, as we see in the picture here, uh, it secretes growth hormone, and that hormone circulates throughout the body and signals release of IGFs from different tissues all over the body. Um, so then those IGFs cause promotion of protein synthesis, ma maintenance of muscle and bone mass. Uh, they promote healing and tissue repair. They enhance breakdown of triglycerides, meaning fat, and liver glycogen, meaning our stored form of glucose. So it mobilizes some of our resources to provide more energy for the activity that we're participating in. Uh, so of course, we want to produce more growth hormone because that is going to help us build and maintain our muscle and bone mass, heal injuries, and so on. Uh, so the best way to naturally produce more growth hormone is with exercise. So what can we do specifically with exercise to cause greater uh, secretion? So it's released in response to both aerobic and anaerobic exercise. So meaning cardiovascular kind of exercise, like endurance training or uh, anaerobic, like weight training, resistance training, weightlifting sort of exercise. Um, so growth hormone increases more in response to anaerobic than aerobic. So it's released in response to both forms of training. But if we're going to choose one or the other just for growth hormone purposes, then it would be anaerobic. So you're going to get more out of kind of a progressive weight training program than out of cardiovascular exercise for growth hormone. Uh, release of growth hormone increases with exercise intensity, regardless of which mode you choose. So whether you are doing aerobic or anaerobic training, the harder you're going, the more growth hormone you're going to secrete. So high intensity is going to cause the greatest amount of growth hormone release. Um, so these effects are great. They occur to a greater extent in women than in men. Uh, it's hard to say why exactly. It could be that men already have more in circulation than women, but that's sort of speculation. We don't know for sure. Um, there are also lots of different theories and, and beliefs circulating in the gym <laughs> about um, how you should eat in relationship to your exercise to promote uh, growth hormone uh, secretion. These are not supported in the research literature. So I can't confirm or deny they could be true. Um, like some theories say you need to work out fasting. Some say you need to eat carbohydrates within 30 minutes after your workout. Um, so there are all sorts of beliefs about how you need to eat relative to your workout session to promote secretion of uh, growth hormone but those are not really substantiated in the research literature. So they might be true. Some might be true. Some might not be, but I couldn't say for sure. Nobody can at this point. We need more research to be able to say. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day.